Hello everyone out there on the internet, this is me, John. Welcome back to another review with me, and today I'm going to be doing the last and final in the series of the 7-Eleven 7 Me Premium Ramen Bowls. And what I've saved for last, this is a uh, Ramen Suta, it's T-S-U-T-A, and this is the very first first ramen place ever in the world to get a Michelin star rating. So currently still has one star and this is a Japanese soba type noodle. Um, they're straight noodles. I believe this one is a shoyu or a soy sauce flavor. Um, I've already put the hot water in here and let the noodles and vegetables and meat steep for a while. Here's what the label looks like. That's the logo of the Suta company. Um, they have their original location is in uh, Japan, Tokyo. They've expanded to two locations in Singapore and they have plans to open some West Coast LA, San Francisco, Glendale area locations. None have opened yet. So what I've gotten here so far are just noodles, some green onions that are hydrating. There you go, some green onions. And then they have this piece of pork belly. Looks like a little piece of bacon. So then we have, and that all came in this green wrapper. Um, so we have the soup base, which is this blue packet. I'm assuming this is going to come out of a dark brown like a soy sauce color, which is exactly what is coming out. It almost smells like it has like a, a wine in there as well. Give that a stir inside the noodles. Then we have this orange packet, which it says is a special oil. Not sure what to expect out of this one. It is a clear color, maybe a bit of a yellowness to it. I'm assuming it's a sesame. This smells like it smells like sesame with something else in there. Interesting. Yeah, some more flavors in there just besides sesame. And lastly, they give you this little vacuum seal pack, and this is Menma, which is pickled bamboo shoots. I'm just going to dump that right on top. Okay. So then let me get this so you can see everything. And let's give you a close-up from the top. As you can see here, the color is a little on the dark brown side. Gives you a soy sauce flavor. There's the, the meat. There's the bamboo. All right, let's give it a taste. All right, let's give this thing a taste. First, let's get a sip of the broth. It's interesting. It definitely is a shoyu, like a soy sauce based broth. With that oil, it's giving it some like interesting uh, back background kind of flavors to it. It's just kind of hard to describe. It's a, it's a bit on the umami side. Kind of tastes like it could be maybe some truffle, maybe some fish sauce. Um, nothing very strong. Let me taste some of this bamboo. The bamboo's good. Crunchy. Slight pickled flavor. Absorbing a lot of that umami from the broth. I'm going to take a little bite of this meat here.
it definitely rehydrated very well. A little bit on the chewy side. The flavor is there. Savory, porky flavor. Let's get some of these noodles. That special oil flavor is really sticking to these uh, noodles. This bowl is really interesting. It's unlike any flavor that I've had before. It's not super strong. It's kind of like a mellowness going on throughout this whole bowl. And with like the main theme of this being just like a light savoriness. Which, I can only assume that this must be like a lot more punched flavor to it when it's, it's fresher at the location. This is still way better than any pillow pack of ramen you're going to get. Even some of the, the more premium ones. Just like the richness of flavor of this, it's a light flavor but it's rich. The flavor of the oil and the broth really coats every little aspect of this. I would say that I like the other, uh, the Tauntaun Men one that I had that was Michelin star rated. I think I like that one a little bit better than the, this one, the Tasuta. However, you can't go wrong with this. This is very delicious. Um, I think out of all the premium ones, I still still like the uh, the one. Let me let me. Uh, I have my paperwork here, so I can get the names of this right. Santuka. The one that looked like that, and the blue one, the Santuka. Still my overall favorite. It had the cloudy tonkatsu flavor that I liked. Uh, the meat in that one was really tasty. Um, but all of them have been good. I haven't been disappointed by any one of them. Uh, this one especially is very tasty. And perhaps someday I'll be able to taste the actual stuff. And I'll tell you what I think about it if I ever do. It might not be on video though. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you like this video hope you liked this whole series of the uh, Japan 7-Eleven Nissan uh, collaboration with other restaurants in Japan. Um, I will be trying that the Santuka uh, variety probably this summer. I'm going to try to find that location that's near me and test it out. See if it's even better when you get it in person. Fresh. Anyway, that's it for the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, comment on my headband. Until next time, bye.